Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Cancer. Hope you guys are all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers. Big welcome to all the new viewers. Thank you so much everyone for dropping in to listen. I really appreciate it. All right, get that Cancer energy in the cards. Cancer love energy in the cards. All right, we'll set those aside. I'm going to pull out three overall energy cards for Cancer. What is the overall energy surrounding Cancer in their love life? Overall energy surrounding Cancer in their love life? What is the overall energy surrounding Cancer in love? You have one ring circus. Oh. And details, details. <laughs> Yes, Cancer. There we go. Ah, Spirit of Place. This is interesting. I feel like you have, um, it's either you or your person, are used to kind of running the show on your own, used to going solo. Okay, it could be you, could be your person. And the reason is, is there's always so many details, so many things to take care of, so much to do. Uh, you know, to do the right thing. But there's a situation here where this is you or your person is starting to see things in color. It's starting to wake up to the idea of starting to pay attention to the details, starting to watch another person and sort of waking up to the idea of who they are. Okay. Or what, you know, what things you have in common here, what you're holding on to. So this is like the Four of Pentacles, holding on to it keeping balance, trying to see if there's any balance between you and another person or vice versa. I feel like it's them. Somebody who's kind of used to going slow, running the show, doing things their own way, probably a little stuck in their own ways, right? And the reason is this person is solo is because they're just not really into having to do things somebody else's way all right they're stuck in set in their ways here so but this person's starting to wake up to the idea of a relationship so very interesting if you've met somebody recently uh could be somebody who's coming around thinking about you all right cancer what is coming in what is going out what is changing in the love lives of the cancer viewers clear messages and guidance for cancer please so they can make clear decisions regarding their love life. Cancer, love energy in the cards. What do they need to know? Cancer, cancer, cancer. Ah, oh, yes. Definitely used to running the show, used to being in control, <laughs> wanting things your way. I feel like it's this person. I do feel like they know if they come towards you, they'll have to take the lead. This person is a leader, and they are used to doing things their own way. They're very set in their ways. But like I said, they're opening up to the idea of a relationship. They're watching you, looking at you, trying to see if that'll work. Yeah, they're thinking about taking a risk, trying something new. Wow, you must have captivated this person, Cancer, whoever they are. There's definitely something. They're holding on to this. They're looking at it. Yeah, look at that. They're looking in the mirror, trying to figure out whether they, you know, they're trying to figure out whether or not this could work. They are used to, they are pretty set in their ways, maybe even a little bit stubborn. Okay, used to doing things their own way. They like to keep that balance in their life. So we have the mirror here. They're definitely... They're a little worried about being bogged down by too many details, having to do things for someone else, having to be responsible for paying attention to them, that kind of thing. But this is the mirror. So this is taking a good look at the situation. All right. Being open to it. Not so sure. So but there is a risk involved here. They are thinking about taking this risk. Wow. Cancer. And we have five of vessels. Yeah, this person, kind, you know, it's kind of feels like there's no hope, but yet there is that little sense of hope here. It's just, I feel like they're just waking up to the idea. They're kind of holding back, but they're waking up to this idea. There's something, yeah, yeah, they're trying to get some clarity. They are becoming clear. They do understand within themselves. This is somebody who does understand themselves, all right, their needs, what they want. And I do feel they're just, they are set in their ways. So they're sitting here waiting all right, thinking they're looking into the future. They are holding on to this. They're not going to let go. 
Okay, they're looking out into the future to see if they see you in their future. Okay, you may be waiting for this person to come towards you. So yeah, here we got page of stones. Yeah, they're thinking. They're thinking, taking their time, looking at the details, trying to figure out whether or not they can handle a relationship. They don't really want to let go of you, though. That's a thing. But whether or not they can handle a relationship, that's that's another thing. This is about clarity. So they kind of are keeping you waiting. Their strategy is to kind of just keep you waiting till they make up their mind. And <laughs> yeah, they're doing a lot of thinking, trying to keep any negative energy out of their head. Okay, they're just holding back a little bit till they, they're clear. So they're not going to say anything. All right, until they're clear about this. Wow, yeah, they're going through a little bit of an awakening, waking up to the idea of a relationship. They certainly are thinking about you. Yeah, there's a little bit of insecure. They're not so sure. Yeah, they're not so sure about a new beginning in love. Feeling a little insecure. Seven of arrows. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how this would work. All right. If they could do their part, because they are, they recognize that they're set in their ways. They're used to running the show and having things their own way. It's going to take a risk to go on this new path, but I like it. This is somebody who, uh, I feel like they're sensible. They certainly aren't going to uh, draw you in. They are very clear. They are aware that you're waiting, okay, for some kind of answer, all right, for something to get going. Um, you know, feeling it's keeping you a little bit stuck, very interesting. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries energy. Yeah, thinking about taking this leap. Wow, you guys. I get a sense this is somebody kind of special. Uh, at least I feel like they definitely want to get clear before they uh, communicate with you. They know they're keeping you waiting, but they need to think. They need to make sure this is right for them. Okay, so, and that's a good thing. You know, they want to make sure they make the right decision for you as well as themselves. Okay, so very nice, the stag. Why is the stag here for cancer? Interesting read, cancer. Cancer, cancer. Tell me about the stag. Why is the stag here? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So you've probably communicated your feelings with this person. Okay. And they definitely probably have told you, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just sort of used to doing things my own way. Okay. I feel like this is you. It's kind of making you a bit bummed out because they're not taking this risk. But it's for good, it's for a good reason, because they want to make sure they're clear before they start something. They're feeling a little insecure at whether this can work, okay? Yeah. We have the Wanderer. For some of you, this person may be going through some kind of a healing, too. They may have been solo for a long time and going through a healing and not so sure they're ready for something new. Oops. All right, the Wanderer. What's going on with the Wanderer? Yeah, I feel like you've mentioned to this person, you know, like you've shared your feelings a little bit. I feel like you're a little bit shy about saying too much about it, too. So it's kind of keeping you stuck. The Wanderer. There we go. Yeah, so there is this. Look at that. Wow, a new cycle. Yeah, so this person's just trying to figure out what will make them happy. If they go on this new path, if they'll make them happy. And I feel like you see this person as somebody you'd like to take a risk with. You do. You feel like they could make you happy. And you may have told them that you do everything you can to make them happy. All right, you're putting going to put your cups out on the table. But you're a little insecure right now about you know, telling this person how you feel, okay, yeah, so there is an end of the cycle, yeah, so this person may have ended something, all right, and they're, they've been alone for a while, so, and this could flip, it could be you, so yeah, feeling like there's not a lot of hope here, but there is hope, this is the thing, there's that little bit of hope, because you got the five of vessels ecstasy down here, it's like, even though things don't look too good, keeping up that hope, Yes, trusting your intuition, going within. I feel like this person is going within. They're trying to trust their gut. I feel they could have Pisces in their chart. I feel like they're just trying to figure things out. They're looking in the mirror. They're trying to be honest with themselves, okay? They do get weighed down by relationships. Yeah, they're thinking about it. They are thinking. They know that they would need to be uh, reliable and practical, 
okay they would need to be solid they would have to once they start this they know right so they're not going to jump in i feel like you both kind of want it but you know you're both thinking about it you both might you might be a little insecure about it too because this person's been alone for a long time you know maybe you have too maybe you've both used to doing your own thing doing everything your own way <laughs> both set in your ways it's quite possible we have the five of vessels for those of you who are younger and because uh, this it does sound like a reading for people who are older who are used to being on their own okay but for those of you who are younger you can still have this energy it's just not so as extreme not somebody who's been alone for 10 years you know <laughs> necessarily single used to doing their own thing yeah so we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn yeah this person's used to running the show they're used to doing their own thing all right they're paying attention to the details they're thinking they're looking into the future being practical and they want to be realistic about this they kind of feel like there's no hope so they're really searching for clarity they're probably overthinking this a little bit and keeping you waiting they will find that clarity with the king of arrows and once they do they will take action they will communicate they know you're waiting okay they know you're holding on they're holding on to five of vessels Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, this person, this isn't, you know, it's they need to get the clarity. Should they just surrender this and let it go or they should they hold on? OK, I feel like this person has. I feel like they've been hurt in the past. Maybe they've hurt other people because they rushed into things too quickly when they were used to being single. Right. And, you know, they they are so set in their ways. I really feel that. But they are thinking about surrendering. They're just not sure. They look back at all the hard work right this is the thing they look back this could be a lot of work and their past relationships it was a lot of work okay and uh you know this could be very painful very physical work as well so they're looking back at all this and they're trying to figure out whether they should surrender to to this and come in or they should just let it go so i feel like they have gone through a healing and it's taken them a long time and I mean, it may not be 10 years, it could be just two, but they're kind of set in their ways. Yeah, look at that. You're both got this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius comes out now. Yeah, look at that. So I feel as though if this person comes towards you, Cancer, you're going to ask a lot of questions. Okay. Um, for some of you, this you may have Aries, Leo, Sag in your chart. If you don't, I feel as though... Uh, you're going to stand up for what you believe and you want to make sure that this person is clear. So it could be both of you. I, I kind of feel like it is. I feel like you're a little, you know, a little bit insecure here. Okay. I used to doing things your own way too. They are. But you know, there's something you're both kind of manifesting. You both want it, but you're both looking in the mirror and you're both not so sure. <laughs> Aw, yeah, it's a tough call sometimes when you really like somebody and you really want to be with them but you're not so sure you're capable of being like a good partner paying attention to their needs right because that's what it is it's like you know there has to be balance there yeah three of bows what's going on so i feel like you're definitely focused on this person you want to you're going to try to keep your focus you want to make sure they're focused on you for the right reasons so until this person comes towards you I feel like some of you have that fiery energy in your chart. I feel as though you, um, you, you definitely need to get clear as well. And you're going to continue focusing on your career, your finances. All right. You're going to see this through. I don't think you're going to give up. I honestly don't think you are. But I feel like the other person might, especially if they have fire in their chart too. I feel they may have some Leo. So yeah, there is a little bit of challenge. There is some... You know, there's a bit of a challenge here to overcome between the two of you. And that's that bit of stubbornness, wanting to do things your own way. So, yeah, look at that. Yeah, you both want love, though. You both need some love and nurturing. Uh, this is the Queen of Cups. You both had a hard time. This is the thing. You both had a tough time in love. So, wow. Yeah, you really do need some love and nurturing, though. And I feel like this person does, too, with this Queen of Cups energy in the center, the heart of the reading. This is both of you both feeling pretty much the same about the situation whether or not you know you should surrender to this or just give up 
uh, the past relationships haven't gone well, you've had a tough time in love, but you're still waiting, right? Waiting for news, waiting to see what happens, holding on to this and looking into the future at all the details, how it may go, what would you would need to do to be in a, in a committed relationship, something solid. Tell me about the three of bows. Why is this here? Ah, there we go. Yeah, so I feel like this person's not clear yet. Okay, and I feel like they're just not clear. They do want to talk to you. I feel like they may reach out uh, to say a few things. There's some things they're not going to tell you, probably about themselves, why they're set in their ways, why they're kind of stuck. Okay, so make sure you pay attention to what they aren't telling you as much as what they are telling you, okay? Watch the details. <laughs> Yeah, and I feel like too, like I feel like this goes back and forth uh, where you both need to, you know, with this air energy, you both may have some air in your charts. If not, it's just an energy of needing to get clarity and not having the clarity that you're waiting for this person. They're not quite clear yet. Yeah, they're not quite there. They are thinking about it. They are, they haven't let go of the idea of being with you. They're just waking up. They're trying to see all the details, the color. Okay, waking up to the idea. They are going to get there. I see that. Page of Stones. Why is the Page of Stones here for Cancer? I feel like it's this person here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they don't have to be uh, those signs. It's just somebody who has money. All right, works hard. They may own a business or run a business. They may work in finance, banking. They might be an investor. They could be uh, an accountant, anything like that, or just somebody who does payroll, that kind of thing. They definitely have been working hard They've, you know, for their uh, finances. They're financially stable, too. They're used to running the show and doing things their own way. Yeah, definitely. Page of Stones. going on with the page of stones why is the page of stones what are they thinking what is this person thinking there we go yeah so they're trying to release this burden this you know this is the thing they have a lot of burdens and they're thinking about it can they take on another burden they certainly don't so this is what i feel is that this person's also a little bit afraid they haven't told you of sharing their money their finances everything they work for if things don't work out okay because in the past i feel like they you know, they kind of had a tough relationship where they did all the work, okay? And they're not so sure they want to do that again, okay? They probably had to pay for everything and they had to do all the work, that kind of thing. And this could be you, definitely flip it. So yeah, they trying to, they're trying to release this negative energy. They want to end this burden. And I feel like they, they're going to try to let this go, keep their head clear and try to figure this out. They are working on getting clear whether or not they're capable. Wow. That's really what this whole reading is about, whether or not this person feels that they can muster uh, a real commitment. They're used to being a little selfish, doing things on their own. They're holding on to their money. They're a little bit, probably a lot stubborn. <laughs> they know it too. They, they actually really know it. Yeah, four of arrows. Yeah, so they are. Yes, look at that. So I feel like they're afraid, you know, they've been holding back and they're afraid they're going to sabotage this by holding back. So they're up in their head and they're probably overthinking a bit, trying to figure out and get this clarity. So tell me about the seven of arrows. Yeah, they, they know that they, they know they'd have to make sacrifices. That's the thing. They're not really willing to sacrifice everything they've worked for. And they do carry a lot of burdens because they may be a business owner, something like that. Or maybe they have a lot of financial obligations They're carrying a lot of weight. And I don't know if this person is trying, they're just trying to figure out whether or not you would be share some of the weight some of the burdens they think about that too having someone to share the burdens in their home that kind of thing right some of the financial responsibility some of the chores that kind of thing yeah they're really digging into the details tell me about the seven of arrows yeah so they're trying to gain the strength they are a little insecure they're trying to about this situation but man they do want this new beginning they really do yeah, they are going through some kind of awakening. They're waking up to the idea. So if you just patient and just wait, just give this person a chance to sort it out. Because if you try to rush it, I think they'll just get stuck and stubborn. And I feel like if you give them the time and just sit back, and I know it's probably making you insecure, and it's hard to keep up your strength, but you know, because you really want this as well. I can see that energy here. 
Just let this person wake up because you don't want to get into a relationship with somebody who comes in and then they're, they don't pay attention to any of your needs. They're not nurturing. They're not caring because you're going to require that somebody who pays attention to you and gives you love and nurturing, you know, gives you a pillow when you fall asleep on the sofa with, you know, when your head's all crooked, that kind of thing. This is the kind of thing this person hasn't done for a while. They're, they definitely used to run in the show. Details, details. Why are the details here? What are these details this person is looking at? What is their details? Yeah, they're really focused on all the little things. Yeah, yeah, the details, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're thinking about living together, commitment, all the things that it would entail. So they are looking into it. They haven't let go of the idea of commitment even marriage starting something new yeah they but they carry a weight i feel like you both do to be honest some of you not all of you are not too sure right if you want to give up that doing everything your own way kind of thing with the stag being the leader right who's going to be the leader i feel like you're waiting this for this person to take the lead it's just making you feel a little insecure but just hold on uh, you don't want to get into a relationship with someone who backs out make sure you get the, the clarity make sure they are clear all right make sure that they have the strength and the courage okay keep up your strength and courage don't give up i i feel mostly this is them though they probably have leo in their chart tell me about the son of life why is the son of life here why is the son of life here son of life the sun why is this here yeah this they're they are waking up Son of life, there we go. Yeah, so they're thinking about teamwork, cooperation, and compromise. They're waking up to the idea. They do, they are very clear. You have a lot of things in common, that you are quite compatible. You're both feeling the same way, okay? Looking at the details, holding on. You're, I feel like some of you definitely both, both are feeling not too sure, but you are so wanting some love and nurturing. And I feel if they have water in their chart, they likely want some too, they're just not too sure about whether or not they, because they carry, they have a lot of responsibility, I feel. They're not so sure maybe they have the time either. So they're trying to not be negative about it. So they, you know, and this is another thing. You need to be patient. Just hold back at saying, don't try to rush this person. Don't try to take control. Because I feel like if you do, you might sabotage it, okay? Let them do their thing. Spirit of place. Why is this here for cancer? Now, if this isn't someone around you now, this could be somebody coming in who is very, they're very, very interested in you. Like they really, really are. And uh, they're kind of, it's like they're trying to figure out if they're ready to end a cycle of being free and ready to go off on a new path, a whole new cycle. This could be a really big change for both of you. Spirit of place. What is it that they're waking up to? What are they waking up to here with Spirit of Place? Spirit of Place. There we go. Ooh, there's a lot. Yeah, they know they need to look at this. You both have some fire in your chart, or you have that passionate, fiery energy. Yeah, this person is very, they could be a self-employed entrepreneur, run a business, very hardworking. Okay, I feel like they want to come in. They will eventually, I think, come in and take control. Okay, and see this through. That's the thing is too, they don't want to team up. They're trying to, you know, get clear in their head. If they team up and cooperate, they have to compromise, right? Definitely, that they're going to have to see this through. The King of Staves is an energy of somebody who comes in and fights to the finish. Okay, they see things through to the end and they don't give up. And that's what he's thinking about. Okay, or she, this could be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, that's what this person's thinking about. They're thinking about this, you know, all the little details, you know, can I see this through? Can I fight to the finish? Can I do this? Am I up to, for the game, right? Up to do this because of the burdens. Yeah, they're thinking of their beliefs, traditions, their behaviors. Yeah, can I see this through to commitment to marriage? All right. Traditionally, this person's probably very used to being in control. Like I said, there's that kitty corner, right? Very used to doing things their own way, having everything go their way. That's their habit. That's the way they are. So they know that they're going to have to cooperate and compromise these traditions, you know, behaviors. You both need to be on the same page as well. Ah, 
There we go, looking at the details. So if this person sends you a message, you're gonna look at this. And I feel like you're going to have to take your time. You may have earth in your chart. Some of you are. It's just an energy where you take your time. Think about this, okay? Don't, even though you may be just crazy in love with this person, you have a lot of emotion for them. You really, you know, you want to reach out to them. I, I think you just need to hold back. Let, let this person come to you. And I feel they are rather stubborn. They are, you know, kind of holding back just... They are fighting to figure this out to get the clarity. I feel strongly a lot of you, uh, this person has Leo in their chart, uh, maybe even some Taurus, okay? But it could really be anybody. It's really about the energy. So take your time and look at this offer, okay? Take a look at it. Look at the details. Make sure, too, this is both of you. You're both going to have to, if you have this new beginning, you both have to cooperate and compromise. You have to release all right, all these fears, all right, you have to let it go. So there's going to be sacrifices, and that's the thing that's tough. So pretty interesting read. So yeah, take your time when this message comes in, all right? Just put some thought into it. Try to not be negative, all right? Try not to be negative about it. Release that negative energy, because there's something beautiful here, really. Uh, if you guys can be patient with each other and just... Allow each person to do things in their own way. So yeah, mending, yeah. So there's a mending here. This is like the four of arrows because I was talking about it. Here it comes very so it's it's very it's confirmation. Just hold back. Clear that negative energy. Okay. You both could be healing or had a very tough time in love in the past and you're still healing from it. And kind of got comfortable doing your own thing. So, yeah. So I feel like this person, yeah, community. I feel like they may, you may get together and talk. You may reach out social media, okay, and just sort of talk. Maybe that's how they're going to approach you, okay. Putting those cups on the table. You're going to need to, like, maybe be friends first. Go out, hang out, do some things together, uh, and just take it slow. blessed yeah so this is blessed yeah so take this blessing all right this reading i feel this reading is blessed take this blessing do what it says take your time let this person do their thing okay let them get clear in their head and definitely get clear first don't accept this offer until you're sure okay <laughs> that you can do whatever you want but that's what it's saying make sure you're both on the same page here because you are both you both are the same you have a lot of things in common that's so you're both used to doing things your own way yeah happy happy so this is blessed this could be a beautiful union if you do it there could be happiness and peace here between the two of you okay beautiful energy so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading so if this person hasn't approached you yet they could be somebody coming in or someone around you who's thinking about you you may have met this person out in the past out in the community Maybe on a dating site, who knows? Maybe this person just likes to date. They don't want relationships, but they like you. They know you're waiting, okay? They know that they're trying to get some clarity here and that you're waiting. They're very well aware, so patience. All right, Cancer, take care of yourselves. I hope this works out beautifully. It looks like a beautiful union because you have so much in common. If you can cooperate and compromise and find that strength within yourselves, not to sabotage it, to hold back, don't read negative energy into it, okay? Be grounded, practical, and realistic because it's lovely, all right? Take care. Bye for now, everybody.